I've always wanted to go after muskies and I finally got my chance when an investigation into strange sightings of lake serpents brought me to Canada. Now, a normal River Monsters shoot, um, we're on location for about three weeks and of that, only about three or four days normally are spent fishing. However, if, if it's a fish that we know is going to be quite difficult, we might extend that to maybe five or six days. And this is what we did with muskie. We allocated five, six days because it has a reputation as a very difficult fish to catch. They call it the fish of 10,000 casts. Well, at the end of that time, I didn't have the fish that I was after. I tried all different types of lures, surface lures, flashy spoons, spinner baits. but no results. The level of frustration was, was just absolutely intense, almost unlike anything I've experienced before. It almost got to the point where I was doubting my ability as an angler. I'm actually fishing somewhat mechanically. I'm casting, I'm casting. I've lost that expectation. I've lost that belief that I'm gonna get something. I just wanna feel anything. I don't care what it is, something alive on the end of my line to get that belief back. So I took myself to the place where my investigation started, a place called Spirit Rock. Now, Spirit Rock is not known as a, as a musky spot, but they have walleye there. I've not caught walleye before, and I ended up using something like this. A very light, flexible rod, very small reel, six pound line, I mean, almost invisible line. And within a very short time, I actually hooked into something and very quickly I realized that this wasn't a walleye, this wasn't just a few pounds, this was a muskie. It's a massive muskie on six pound line. We're never gonna get this in. Now, normally when I've got a fish on the end, uh, I am extremely nervous about that fish getting off. Just because you've hooked it doesn't mean you're gonna get it in. This was different. I actually had no expectation whatsoever that this fish was gonna come in. It was just, just wasn't gonna happen. The reason being, I mentioned six pound line, but on the end of that six pound line, I don't have any wire at all. It's just straight to the hook. And Muskie has these very sharp teeth. All that's gotta happen is for that line to touch a tooth and it's, it's gonna break. The fish jumped. You know, the line should have gone then, but it didn't. And almost without me knowing how it happened, suddenly the fish is in the net. That has to rank as one of the most extraordinary catches of my life. We have got a muskie. I mean, just after all those days of nothing going my way, to be perfectly honest, if I didn't actually have the evidence now in the form of the footage of that catch of that fish, I would still find it really, really hard to believe certainly one of the most memorable, most significant captures in the history of River Monsters ever.